Hello there, welcome to this week's news from the City of Culture on Ireland.com. Well, it's been a record-breaking few days. Five and a half thousand Annies packed into Ebrington Square and smashed the Guinness World Record for the biggest choreographed song and dance routine ever staged. They performed the Hard Knock Life routine from the Annie musical. But if classical music is more your thing, world-renowned Belfast pianist Barry Douglas and his orchestra Camerata are returning to Christchurch on Friday the 8th of March for an evening of Mozart, Strauss and Puccini. And if you miss this, don't worry, they're back again in July to play with the London Symphony Orchestra. But now for something a little bit different. Screenwriter Frank Cottrell Boyce is best known as the writer of the 2012 Olympics opening ceremony, but his latest project is telling the story of Derry's founding father. The return of Colm Kill Spectacular is happening on the banks of the foil on the 8th and 9th of June and will feature hundreds of local performers. And we're going live now to the Playhouse Theatre to speak to Frank himself to hear more about the project. Hello Frank, how are you? Great to speak to you today. Hi Jane, hi Jane and great, everything's good. Frank, can you tell me a little bit more about the Colm Kill event? Well the story, the outline story is that St Colm Kill is going to come back to Derry after 1500 years and he wants to find out everything that's happened here. So we're looking for any stories really about work, play, rest, holidays, emigration, exile, if you've got stories about the war or working in the shirt factory or punk rock, anything at all. All those stories are going to be, we're acting out all those stories on the day. Oh Frank, it just sounds fantastic. And have you turned up anything particularly good so far? Oh, hundreds and hundreds of great kind of gems about aviation, about planes that have gone missing, about Dopey Dick, the killer whale that ended up here, about the U-boats that surrendered in the Second World War. Oh, amazing stories. You know what really is fascinating stuff, Frank, but just before you go, what do you think of the city itself? I love Derry and I love the fact that people here are so up for it. 13,000 people in the Santa race and hundreds of thousands of people come to see the Clipper race and that's what we want for this. We want hundreds of people involved in this show. It's got to be the city speaking for itself. Thanks Frank, fantastic to catch up with you today and hear more about what's going to be one of the highlights of 2013. Well that's it for now, I'll see you again next week for more City of Culture news on Ireland.com.